Hello. Uh, first of all, plus one, no Florida, and plus one, continue masking. Um, um, does the THO have on staff or via contract consulting a um, health and safety person who actually keeps up on all of this epidemiology? Um, and is the goal to get back to 2019 era infection control, or do you guys like have a number of acceptable COVID diagnoses that you will consider, well, only five people got it this year, so that's fine, or do you just not even get that information from Hal? Uh, so, sorry, so you're saying, is our goal to return to a 2019 you mean, in other words, no, no mass, you talk about pre-COVID. Yeah, are you, are you trying to get back to a pre-COVID state of yeah. uh, operation, or are you, are you accepting that uh, there's always going to be some measure of this masking policy? But that's actually not really the important part of the question I'm asking. I'm asking is oh, how right. are you guys making, are you guys consulting with actual epidemiologists versus just reading like CDC guidance um, and does how actually inform you as to incident, incidents of infection that happen on board? So you actually have information to go on as to what's working and what's not. Uh, yeah, yeah, they do. And, and uh, we, we don't have an, an epidemiologist uh, on staff or anything like that. Uh, and no, I think it's all a wide variety of sources. We're not just sort of looking at what's listed in the Washington Post every day on their chart or anything like that. We do. Look, to the extent that we can, as lay people, you know, ask people who know more than we do from multiple sources and try and just get a general sense. There's no sort of magical mathematical formula where we will say, aha, y equals six, so now we can change the policy here. We, uh, we are informed of uh, the various uh, health incidents and such on board our sailing. We don't get that information at least in any detail for uh, any other sailings out of hell other than what they may publicly report, um, if that's part of your question. Um, but you know, again, we're not looking for, you know, we're not looking for a specific number or a zero number necessarily. Just each year we feel we have to evaluate where the situation is, where the pandemic is pointing, and, uh, and you know, I, I, I can't give you a really more specific answer than that, unfortunately. I think one of the kind of complicated things about the new era, I mean, like, in, are we trying to go back to 2019? I mean, I, anybody who's been through this knows that we can't because the world's different. Yeah. Um, and one of the things that changed with the pandemic was the addition of, like, today, in some sense, where it's like, are, you, are we epidemiologists and can we fix the problems with social media? And we can't, and we aren't. And like our expertise is throwing a vacation. Um, and and that's, that is not to, that is not to put those concerns, and we absolutely consult the sources that we do. But there are, there are, there are limitations to what our capabilities are as an organization with a, with a year-round W2 staff and more. Um, and, and also that I don't believe that you can run a major event and let alone a cruise ship with the same risk profile that you can experience in other settings. And in my household, uh, Mrs. Storm lives with a chronic condition that um, in her risk profile she, well, profile, she determined that she did, it was not an acceptable risk for her. And then obviously makes her sad and we sad. Um, but that's where we are at this moment. We hope Thank you. Thank you.